Jubilous art in Uzbekistan in its development was several stages. Traditionally, jubilous Sargar worked with silver. Peculiarities of the way of life of the population predetermined that jewelry mainly were meant for women. National costume of a woman contained a great number of decorations of different forms and meanings. Diadems, tilakosh, temple decorations, gajak, earrings, rings, amulets, hangings for hair, neck and dress decorations gave jubilees a great place for creativity. While preparing decorations, the masters used traditional types of techniques, casting, forging, coining, engraving, stamping, mop, enamel, tracery and applied filigree gills. The decorations were entrusted with panels mostly with aquas, cornelian, lapis lazuli and corals. Very often they used colored glass, so called Satoy Shisha. The most valuable sets were decorated with precious tails, mostly of red color, ruby, garnet and black. The type and construction of combined women decorations had traditional forms, elaborated by generations of masters, dargas, individual handwritings of separate jubilees, and existence of local skills, for example, Karezm, Bukhara or Tashkent, are traced by peculiarities of elaborating decorations and favorite things. In the 20th century, a great expansion was among the words of gold, which now are used on the industrial basis in Uzbekistan obtains rich resources of precious metals. Unusual wealth of the forms, great quality, splendor, and complication of compositional decision, elegance of elaboration, thin thick details, presenting chains, filled with beads, pendants like leaves, pods, and seeds. Encrusting of colorful gloves and stones are the typical lines of jewelry made by the masters of Uzbekistan in the 19th, 20th century. All jewelry schools and centers developed in contact with each other in other countries. The generosity of ethnic and historical groups of people of Central Asia became the foundation for the rise of resembling motifs and forms in the composition of jewelry art. Modern jewelers creatively continue the traditions of Bukhara, Samarkand, Khorizm, Tashkent, Tarkana and Surkandaria School of Jewelry School, enriching them with various technical methods when the compositions obtain new image emotional sound. However, the search of modern forms do not prevail the dominance of artistic tradition. In general, the masterpieces of jewelry art of Uzbekistan present not only as a result of a skillful usage of combination of ancient stylistic methods, but also as a focused expression of philosophy of the human life, having embodied the meaning of vision of our ancestors above the environment.